Hi, it's Bex here from Channel Bex Bug Out Survivor, and today we have made a roll mat just for the hammock. <sighs> so how does it differ from any other roll mat? Well, I'm going to show you in a minute, but first I'm going to say that a standard army roll mat is great in a hammock, it really is. Uh, once you're in the hammock, this part of your shoulder here, your hips, and thighs here, your knee, is where all the cold comes in, and the solution is very simple. Um, I've added wings to it. So I've weighed it, and measured it up and everything. I've built it just by eye. I only need a pair of scissors and some gaffer tape to make this. And you should be able to have this done in about 10 minutes. The cost of two surplus army mats, which were battered. Uh, you want the oldest, cheapest ones you can find. I bought two for two pound, pound each, plus uh, your, your gaffer tape, pair of scissors. So two quid, 10 minutes, and you've got yourself a system that's going to be great for summer and spring for just 230 grams. Now then, it's on the pack, let's have a look. It'll sit on my pack or under it, just like any other roll mat or camp mat. It's just 230 grams. And to put it into context, like I said, always compare it with a can of Coke is 360 grams. I've got 230 here for complete bottom insulation for your hammock. Uh, these are great to work in conjunction with a sleeping bag. So this in, sleeping bag in, get inside the sleeping bag. I don't have to worry about compressing the loft of the sleeping bag underneath. And that's what happens if you didn't have a mat. Squashy insulation, it's good for nothing. But um, it's, I'm going to put it in the hammock, I think. It's going to be the easiest way to look at it. So this is my standard army roll mat inside the hammock. But as you can see, I've modified mine first of all. I've just shaped the end so it's not so square. Just rounded off the end like that. That's the foot end coming up here to the head end. I've just cut myself a little U shape out. There's my, where my head would go. And that's because without doing that, this would bunch up this material it does bunch up terribly but I'm gonna lie in it and you'll see where this doesn't touch my body which is the important thing here well I'm in now under my back here nice and warm anywhere where I'm not on the pad where my skin is touching the fabric and uh, this parachute nylon always feels cold to the touch even on a warm night my arm here is bare and it's touching the fabric arms cold what I like to do is splay my knee out something like this my knee is touching the fabric cold and that's one of the big downfalls with using a mat in the hammock anywhere my body is touching is warm or, or at least not cold. So all I had to do is add extension wings onto the mat itself so it comes up and covers my knee here and my shoulders here where there's no mat and it's really easy to do lightweight as well. Okay I'm gonna fold out the mat we'll have a look at the wings and I'll give you the dimensions and positioning of them wings on this mat. You're gonna need two these to make this look out for them they're cheap enough so here are the wings these are for the knees and these sections here protect the shoulders so as you can see the idea is very simple shoulder wings knee and leg hip wings just make sure the knee wings are out shoulder wings are out now once I get my sleeping bag into here, all these wings seem to just stay folded into place. So long as I'm in the sleeping bag and 
Um, I dare say I could sleep just on top of the mat like this. You can see just how much comes up and over my shoulders like that. And if I splay my knee out, I'm cushioned again from this cold material on my knee. I have that cut out behind my neck because this material wants to bunch up underneath you. And I did experiment with making it the whole size of the hammock. But the uh, mathematics with cutting slits in it was beyond me. I tried. But this is simple to do. Okay, let's just have a look at the dimensions. I've added the wings here. So let's start at the head end here. There's no particular measurement for this little uh, neck gap. I would try lying in it and just seeing where it feels it's lumped up under the back of your neck with a marker pen, just make some markings where it feels it's bunched up. Uh, and just eyeball it in with a pen, it's all I did, and cut a shape out like that. When it comes to these wings here, I have about four inches here at this end, coming down to this end here, of about nine inches, and the distance is from my hip all the way up to my shoulder here. Now it's going to be pointless me telling you the measurement of this uh, length here because your body torso is going to be different. Everybody's body torso is going to be different. So it needs just a little marker pen while you're in the hammock. Mark off top of your shoulder to about here where you can feel this bone on your hip mark that length and at the shoulder make it about four inches and tape it on that's all there is to it there uh, I, it's got about three layers of tape now the way i did it was just to lie this wing next to my mat put some tape on fold it then put the back tape on because it needs to be hinged if I did it flat either side, a piece that side and a piece that side, this wouldn't bend at all, it wouldn't fold. Now the second wing is for your knees and your calves. Again, the second bit lower down where your feet are and hips is still 9 inch by 4 inch approximately. I had to lie in the hammock and judge it where my hip was and how low down it was I wanted it I shaped the end into a bow of a boat kind of shape and it just helped fit in the hammock a lot better um, I've tried it like a diagonal lie it seems to work works with a flat lie um, and it folds up pretty slim two of these cost just two pound. God knows how much the tape was. I got a whole reel for about a quid. The whole lot is coming in at just 230 grams, which is micro lightweight. When it comes time to folding it, it will want to splay out here. So keep tucking it in and rolling it. Get it as tight as you want, use your knee on it. But the secret is just to keep popping any bits that pop out back in. This foam really does want to splay apart, so it's a matter of folding it like this and rolling it. I haven't bought the elastics with it, but you can see it just folds down like a normal roll pad. If you did want to winterize it, I'd be adding a sleep mat to the main body, three quarter length, keep it small. The wings will help you in all weathers then, for where it does get cold in the hammock if you're only using the sleeping bag and pad, which are the knees, the shoulders, um, back of your legs, especially on your thighs here. And what I'm gonna do is find a couple of trees, put it all together, and put the sleeping bag in because the sleeping bag really does hold it all in place 
So I was thinking, like I said before, of making it two roll mats, just putting them side by side and sellotaping the length of them, putting that in the hammock and cutting uh, pointy ends, both end, I got in, it ruffles up, it bunches up underneath you, there's no way that that is comfortable or really feasible. So uh, if you're thinking, why didn't I do that? It doesn't work. You can give it a try if you want. Uh, I could have cut the bunching out of it and made flutes, cut little V-shapes every four or five inches, about two inches going down to nothing. And I'd need to do that both sides of the shoulders, either side, a lot of work. Now, if I'd have got the measurements wrong at any point there, it wouldn't have fitted and I'd have just wasted two roll mats. Plus, I'd have two roll mats um, weight and mass to carry. This is about one and a quarter, maybe just less than one and a half roll mats. Now, I've got the super light summer ones um, I don't think these are NATO stock you could try it with a thicker um, PPE type mat like a yoga pad it has to be thick it minimum you're looking at is about a centimeter now my yoga mat that you've seen me use a hundred times before when I've gone out is half inch thick and that's HDF foam, which is high density foam. Okay, let's put that into the hammock, put the sleeping bag on top of the mat and put me in the whole lot. Just gonna lay here in a couple of minutes. Now you can see the wings working a lot better. They're coming up and around here from my hips all the way down the side of my legs here. I can splay my knee out, my knees here. Oh, it's cozy. Oh, I'm not gonna wanna move. I was lucky to get two of these little mats for a quid each. If you have a local army surplus supplier, you can always ask him for some old ones, torn ones, ripped ones, ones that have been cut, low grade, doesn't really matter uh, you can make the wing sections out of them now roll mats the NATO stock roll mats are still quite dear over a tenner each so if you have yoga pads now make sure that they are some kind of PPF or PPE where the density is um, quite thick you know you need a high density foam at least a centimeter uh, I've tried this with six mil it works but it wants to fold up around you too much and you can actually feel it gathering up and bulking underneath your sleeping bag it's not nice it works it works a treat um, there's no cold but it's just uncomfortable minimum one centimeter my high density foam is half an inch what's that two and a half three centimeters i don't know but really thick it's big to carry and that is only as wide as my shoulders it doesn't help my knees it doesn't help uh, my thighs my hips my shoulders so there's your little project for the weekend some tape a couple of army roll marks at least a centimeter i've made mine four inches at the shoulder, nine inches at the knee, to my hip here. Cracking little bit of kit for the summer. I, I wouldn't mind trying this right up until autumn. And I don't think I'm gonna get away with this in the winter. It, it's, I'd need two of these. It'd have to be two centimeters thick. So if you wanna get your kit a bit lighter, 230 grams, that is good. That is really good. Uh, two quid, really good if you shop around and look for and get what you want you might have a couple of one centimeter yoga pads and i think they're only about four or five 
quid anyway, look around the car boots, places like that. Oh, and that's me done. Oh, a really good little map that for the beginner prepper. That now goes on top of the pack. I'll do this in real time just to show you how quick you can get all this down. And uh, if you're prepping or doing any kind of uh, stealth camping, I'm just going off camera. Um, you're going to need to be able to do things very quickly. Well, like I said, I'm not changing camera positions for this one. If I was thinking somebody, if I was thinking somebody was around, this is how I'd have to do it. I can always put everything neat and tidy at a second location. <laughs> 